Okay, so another grid nav question here. Um, again, as before, you're going to need your square protractor, the compass, uh, pen, and lined paper. Um, you don't have to use lined paper, I just find it's a lot easier, a little bit quicker, especially when you're working through so many of these. Um, if you're in a position like I was, where you're just trying to get your head around it, and you're cracking through these just one after another, I'd use lined paper, it just speeds up the process a little bit. Okay, so this question is a little bit different from the others. Um, it says, a VOR is situated at 74 degrees north, uh, 094 degrees west, a variation is 50 degrees west. A polyostereographic chart supplied with a uh, Greenwich, Greenwich grid is used for navigation. To proceed along magnetic radial of 238 inbound, an aircraft has to, has to follow a grid track of. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, like all the others, is place our square protractor down on the paper. Line it up with the lines on the paper, if you've got them. Mark a dot in the centre. If you don't have a hole in the centre, mark a cross beforehand and overlay your square protractor on top of it. And again, mark a dot where north lies. Okay, take your compass away now. See we've got our two dots. And, so take your protractor away. Place your compass on the centre dot. Simply draw a circle around that point. Okay, doesn't matter how big the circle is, it's just so long as it fits within the boundaries of your square protractor here, makes life a lot easier for you. Okay, now that we've done that bit, we need to mark on our meridians. Okay, so that point there we know is our north pole because the question states that we are at 74 north, or the VOR is at 74 north, so that's the north pole. And what you need to remember is that at the North Pole, the meridian is always closest to you, and the anti-meridian is always furthest away from you. So what I'll do is I'll mark on our meridian with a solid line, and our anti-meridian with a dashed line, just so I can tell the difference between the two. Okay. This is always the same for the North Pole. The South Pole, they're the opposite, so your meridian's here and your anti-meridian's here. But in this case, this is our meridian, okay? The next thing you're going to do is mark on your east and your west. These don't change regardless of whether you're at the north or south pole. So your east is always on the right, west is always on the left. And we'll mark our grid north, which is up here. Okay, so now you've got that set up. This is the basic layout we use for every question. Obviously depending on which way the meridians are around. You're going to mark on your 94 west, okay? So what we'll do is, place our protractor down and we want to measure 94 degrees from this meridian and we always measure from the meridian outwards okay so we put that down put the dot in the center and that'll be our 90 degrees so 94 is there okay and what we'll do is put a line from the north pole through that mark we just put there Just annotate that so we know that that is an angle of 94 degrees and it's west. Okay, and what it's given us is it wants to know to proceed along the magnetic, magnetic being the keyword here, radial 238 inbounds, an aircraft has to follow a grid track of. Okay, so it's said magnetic and it's also given us a variation, so this goes back to the basics of um, I don't know what you might use, but I use Cadbury's dairy milk, very tasty. Because that. Um, we've got our magnetic, which is 238, and we know that our variation is 50 degrees west, and we want this in true, okay? So, usual rule uh, variation west magnetic is best, so our true must be 188 degrees, okay? So that is the angle we'll be marking on. R 94 degrees west. What I'll now do is mark a dot where that 94 degrees west line intercepts the outside of the circle, which is there. Okay. And then place square protractor facing inwards, so following the 94 degree west line on that dot. So the center is on that dot we've just marked. I'll now go 
follow that line outwards and mark on the outside here so you probably can't see that very well 188 degrees there which is our true okay so that dot there and this dot there we now have to draw a line in between like that okay maybe extend these lines out a little bit further like so okay what we now want to do so what you want to do take your protractor line it up we'll put it put the center dot on the dot we've marked on the outside of the circle and then line your protractor up with grid north the reason for that obviously is because it's asking for the grid track so you can't line it up with the 94 you've got to line it up with grid north which is why I use line paper because obviously grid, all these lines represent grid north okay and then simply follow the line down that we've put in from the 188 and you read off the figure here which is 103 and that is our grid and that is the answer. Simple as that.